morning YouTubers, got myself a little toy today, it's an Asus Aspire 1, oh. now I'm just going to, this is just going to be a real quick first impression, I just got it today, um, it'll be a bit ranty but yep, yeah. alright so you have the laptop, yep it's pretty nice, have all the standard, you know, SD, headphone, mic, USB, Ethernet, uh, power, this video, two USB, that's about it. Um, screen's nice and thin, uh, battery sticks out a bit, but who cares? Um, yep. Um, I reckon it's a pretty nice machine, but there were a few tweaks I had to do to it to actually make it usable. So, we'll give you a start how long it takes to start up. Now, just a little bit of context. Um, my current machine, which I do all my videos on and stuff, is actually an ancient, pushing six years now, uh, Pentium 4 2.4. So the speed of this um, is completely in context of that. So, you know, don't comment like, ooh, that's actually quite slow. To me, it's reasonable. So, yeah. And this, is, this is from a cold boot. This is not hibernation. So here we are on the long screen. So it's pretty good logging into account, an account. As you can see the screen is the glossy variety. I um, haven't noticed huge problems with clear, um, although I haven't taken it outside yet. Um, the screen isn't very nice and bright. So yeah, as you can see, it's, it's pretty reasonable. Um, I do like the keyboard. The keyboard is very nice. The chiclets work out quite well. Right, so, you know, we'll try. I don't know. I've got here yeah, Casper Sky on there. God, bloody... Stop putting McAfee on netbooks. McAfee sucks. I, to, I had to edit the registry to remove McAfee to install Casper Sky. Get it together, McAfee. All right, let's go. Firefox. This has only got the one gig in it. Um, I'm still quite tempted to put a two gig stick in it, um, just to speed things up a little bit. So yeah, we're starting off three tabs because that's what I had open last. I don't know, let's go to YouTube, I'll show you it playing a video. Dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Full screen. Force Unleash, that'll do. Trackpad has sort of got this multi-gesture thing, but it really doesn't work so well. You're supposed to put two fingers together and sort of drag them down to put the screen down, it doesn't work so well, yes and no Acer. Um, the forward and back works better sometimes, not today. Oh, let's get this video going. With the Force Unleashed franchise as a whole, we really are trying to make superhero games. So as you can see, the, the video at 360p is fine, I mean, you're not really going to get any... Alright, so yeah, it's pretty competent with that. Um, Show you loading up something a little more hardcore. I've got um, I've got Photoshop CS1 on here, and yes, it's usable. And no, I'm not putting CS4 on it. So yeah, that's that's not too bad. Now, one thing I was actually quite disappointed with, and I wasted the entire evening trying to solve this bloody problem is, alright, it has a webcam. The webcam's fine. You know, it's not wonderful, it has decent quality, good low light, um, the white balance is a bit all over the place, but mm. Okay, it comes with the Acer Crystal webcam thing app. Right. Yep. This thing can't record video. It only takes snapshots. What good is that to anybody? So, I spent the entire evening trying to capture actual video from this thing. Um, turns out uh, the new Windows Live Movie Maker. You know, and I don't use Movie Maker, but last time I had a look, I had an option for capturing from webcam. Is that option here now? No, it's not. Just add videos and photos. Well, that's not very helpful, is it? No option, no capture from webcam option anymore. So I thought, oh, I'll just go down, I'll just go and download. 
um, movie maker for Vista. So I went and downloaded that and I thought, oh, it's going to solve all my problems. No! No option to import to capture from webcam again! Oh, what's going on? So I ended up having to trawl through lots of programs and found this nice one called Free Web Recorder which finally lets me record, look, capture, start capture bloody terrible alright, um, the other issue I had is I thought, oh you know, I'll do some video editing on the fly when I'm out and about with the camera and whatnot. so, you know, I can compress them and get them all ready to upload to YouTube the moment I find an internet cafe but no! Your system does not meet the minimum requirements for handbrake. Your screen is running at uh, 10 to 24 by 600. Screen resolution is too low. It must be 10 24 by 620. I'm bloody 20 pixels out. Good grief. So then I had to uh, do the resolution hack. So I had to go into the registry and flip a bit that said the graphics card did indeed support scaling. And so now when I go I now have the brand speaking option of going up to 1152 by 864 which solves so many problems so let's keep that setting so yeah, the screen looks really squashed now but guess what I can do I can open up Handbrake and actually compress some videos so I don't know who to point the finger at for this whether handbrake for not being flexible enough or windows for just not giving me enough options why I couldn't just virtually extend the desktop out and just sort of shunt it around, I don't know uh, so yep, now I can compress things with handbrake and now I can operate uh, Premiere 2 without too many problems so overall, after I got those stupid problems fixed um, I'm quite happy with it but just as a little caveat you're going to have to do some tweaking to get the most out of it which brings me to my next point alright I thought you know oh you know I'll make some restore CDs in case the hard drive craps out ooh no writing drive failed is there an ISO option? no shame on you Acer shame on you for not being able to make a standard ISO image so I can burn it on another machine so now I have to take half of my other computers apart the DVD writer in an external USB enclosure and burn a disk direct from the computer that is sloppy think about it Jesus you know there's bloody probably open source ISO writers out now so overall if you want to get a netbook um, this is one I'd recommend um, with the caveat that you will have to do a little bit of tweaking get everything working um, you will have to go and find yourself a free webcam program to actually record from the webcam um, unless you upload direct from YouTube which uh, you're lucky because you have a decent inter internet connection so overall I'm going to have to give it oh, 8 out of 10 2 points off for those 3 stupid problems that didn't have to exist